Um, hi guys, Danielle with Arctic Girl Channel, and we are going to make really small bows. The last video I just made was like 15 minutes ago or something. We made big bows, like not huge, but like regular size bows. And today, well right now, we are going to make even smaller ones, which are going to be like half the half the size of this. Like if you cut this in half, it'll be half the size of that. They're really small. I already made two, but they're upstairs. And we're going to make them with the same colors, which is pink and white. So let's bring you down. Okay. Oops. Okay, now I'm ready. So we have pink and white. I'm sorry, it's kind of darker. And we have scissors. So there's these supplies. You need what? You need two. It, you really need three colors because there's three different spots you can put it. You can put it right here where the white is. That can be one color. Actually, there can be four different colors. There can be the main color, which is like right here. There can be this color right here. There can be a different color here, not the same one as this color, and then another color here. So it really doesn't matter how many colors you want. You can just mix it up all you want. I don't care. Um. So let's get started. So you're just going to need about. Oops, hold on. Duct tape isn't being nice. Okay. Oh no. Okay, whatever. So you just need two inches of duct tape. That's really how long you need it to be. Just two inches long. And then you can just cut that. And. I normally just fold it in half like this instead of doing it like this, like lay it down and put another one on there. Um, but that's my way of doing it. So you're just going to fold it in half. If you do it my way. And then cut any other thing that is. That is sticky. Any other sticky parts. And right now, you just have your little thing of duct tape. Really small. So it's going to look like this. It could be like a little, little teeny more than an inch. But now you're going to cut that in half. You're going to cut it in half long ways. Like it's long, not tall, like fat. And you're going to cut it in half like that. So now. You have this piece right here, which is also teeny. This is how small your bow is going to be. It's like a Barbie doll bow. Or doll bow. <laughs> okay. Alright, now time for this. You're just going to take a little piece of duct tape, which is just a square of duct tape. Square size. And then you're going to measure that, like the shortest line here, which is this line and that one. And you're just going to cut this white strip, any line on your white strip. I don't really know what line you want to do, but any line. And your duct tape, your white duct tape should look like this. And set your extra piece away. And now you're going to cut that white piece in half, like this. So it'll have two little squares of duct tape. And you're going to set one square aside, and the other square you're going to use. Whichever side you use, it doesn't matter if you have, like, a little bigger size, you're just going to use it. And you're going to put half of that square, actually, you're going to cut just, like, two millimeters off. So it's actually going to be like this. And then, yeah, so going to do half of it on one side, and then the other half on the other side. And don't worry about the extra duct tape, because you can see there's a little extra on top. Don't worry about that yet. Do the same thing to this piece. Same thing. Cut a little bit off. A little bit. Then it should look like this again. And you're going to do the same thing. You are going to half on one side, and other half on the other side. And then you're just going to cut all the extra duct tape that is hanging from the sides off. 
so it should look like this. Now, for the teensy white part. The extra duct tape that you cut off from the white pieces, you're going to keep those because you're going to use those. These are like this. Oh, I have another piece. Okay. Oh, no. What? Okay. Seriously. Hold on. No? Okay. So you're going to cut that in half, and it's going to be really small, but you're going to cut it in half. Okay. You're going to keep the other half gonna hold on to that and put both away actually and then what you're gonna start doing is make really small flaps keep flapping it back and forth and forth I really don't know how much flaps you use but then it should look like this little bow and you're gonna hold the middle get the little two white pieces that you just cut and you're going to put it in the middle, like that, put it in the middle, and then keep wrapping it around. And then this other piece that you have, you're going to use that too, if you want, which I do, for extra secure. And there you go. You have your really, really small bow. Um, and what you can do is you can try to flatten it on the other sides, like this. So now it's all small, and it looks like this one, except it's really small. And you can, like, put it in the middle or something. Mm, like that. Make it more pretty. Mm -hmm. But now I have a small bow, and it's really small. And if you haven't watched my video on how to make this one, then go watch it, and... Bye now, um, like not goodbye, I'm not leaving right now, but by now, you should know how to make this bigger one, you just do the same thing except get like all bigger pieces, like this pink piece should be bigger, um, this white piece in the middle should be fatter, and this piece should also be bigger so that you can wrap it around and stuff, but these can put on dolls, or you can put it on yourself like little really small bows, that you can put. or you can make them into rings. And I'll show you that right now. How to make it into rings. So you're just gonna get duct tape. You're gonna get really, really small piece, like really skinny, <laughs> skinny pairs. Actually, no mind. Hold on. You don't need small piece. You don't need it that small. Just take a piece about that big, square. You just need a square. Square, square. And then, what am I going to do? Okay, yeah. And then, you are going to make it really, really small, like this. And see, like that. And then you're going to cut that. little extra piece, hold on. So, you've cut that, and now to make an even longer one, you're going to attach that one to the end of this. Like so. So it should look like this. And then you're going to start folding it, folding this one like this. Actually fold this one twice. The last one you're going to fold twice. And then you're going to cut and fold all the extra sticky sides that you have. And here is your ring part. So what you're going to do is take that little piece. You are going it you can take a really small piece like this. It's actually gotta be um as small as this piece. Remember the piece we did for the middle, that little white piece right there? It's gotta be as small as that. So yeah. I don't have that piece, so I'm going to get that piece. Now I have that piece. And you're going to do, you're going to take just one. You don't need to, you're just going to get one. And then, if it's all, like, messy, like mine is, you can just cut all the messiness off. Make it less messy. <laughs> Thank you.
and then see it's like this and whatever finger you're just gonna measure your thumb finger you're gonna measure the back of your thumb finger like this you're gonna measure it kind of a little tight not tight just a smidge bit tight and then you're gonna hold on to that mark the piece with your nail <laughs> then you can see that little ring part and now for the awesome part you are going to use this small piece to wrap it around the ring Oops. Oh no, what is happening? Hold on. That'll be a hard part. But you can do it. Just You can wrap it around just one little piece of the ring. It doesn't matter what piece you use to wrap it around. And then see all this extra that's hanging out? You're going to cut that. Not all of it, but you're going to cut it to where it has that much left. Just a teeny bit left and see if it fits your finger perfectly fine. It does. Um, and then the middle part, the little white middle part, you're going to do another piece that is that small. Make sure it's that size. If it isn't, then cut it down to that size. Mine isn't totally. Okay, now it is. So then you're going to take your ring and then attach it to this part like that, to the bottom, and then stick your little white piece in, make sure it's in the middle, and then you're going to stick your little white piece in. You're going to stick it in and then duct tape it to make the ring point. And if it is not even, that is okay. You can slide it to make it even. Um, and by doing that, I mean, like mine's, like you can just slide, like move it like that. This is a very stylish ring. And that is how you make the ring part. If you don't want the ring, then just ignore all the part about the ring part. So there you go. You got a nice bow that could be without the ring, and you got a nice bow with the ring. And it's very, very cute. It's very cute and stylish. Hi! <laughs>